Thought I'd get a little bit dressed up for you. So you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon, or maybe you're already here and you're looking for some tips. Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some pro tips about living in the Portland area. And maybe you'll even learn something about Portland that you didn't know before. So stick around. So get out a pad of paper and a pen, because like I said, I'm gonna break things down for you and give you some pro tips that you're gonna wanna know if you're living in Portland, Oregon. But first I gotta give you maybe the most important tip of all if you're moving here, which is to reach out. That's right, I just so happen to help people move to the Portland area for a living. So if you're moving here in the near or distant future, I would genuinely love it if you got in touch to see how I can help with that. You'll find all my contact information right down below. So feel free to shoot me a call, text, email, or just click the link to book a one-on-one -on -one video call with me so that we can figure out a game plan to get you moved up to the Portland area and help you buy that perfect home. Now, real talk. It rains a pretty good amount up here, so pro tip, get some rain gear. Now, I'm not just talking a raincoat, that's definitely item one, but it took me a lot of walking around on the wet ground and getting my feet wet to realize that I would be much happier with waterproof footwear as well. Sometimes, even if it's not raining, the ground is wet and you walk through the grass and boom, your feet are wet. Life is better in Portland with waterproof shoes. Trust me. You'll also want to get some warm clothes in general to get you through the winter. It usually stays pretty mild throughout the winter, but it can get pretty chilly. So get some layers and maybe a few jackets and you'll be good. One thing people are sometimes surprised about is the fact that it snows in Portland occasionally, but even worse than snow is the freezing rain. It causes pretty much every surface in the whole city to turn to ice. Sidewalks, roads, all the trees and plants get encased in ice. Sometimes you even see people ice skating around the city when this happens. So here is a bonus weather related pro tip. Buy yourself some crampons or some type of spikes to attach to the bottom of your shoes. It is by no means something you'll need on a regular basis, but the one, two, three days out of the year that everything's iced over, you will be so happy to have those because it's literally impossible to even walk around when it's like that. Next pro tip is get yourself a bike. One of the best things that I did shortly after I moved to Portland was buying myself a bike. Portland is one of the best cities in the United States when it comes to bikeability. We have a system of what's called neighborhood greenways that link across the whole city. They're quiet residential streets that cut through the neighborhoods and go parallel to all the major thoroughfares. It makes biking not only super safe, but also easy and just awesome. You really just get in touch with the city on a different level when you move around on bike. I know some cities it's pretty uncommon or even unheard of to bike around, but in Portland it's kind of a way of life. You can bike from the Pearl, for example, which is all the way up in Northwest Portland, all the way down to the Hawthorne District, which is in Southeast Portland in under 30 minutes. The next pro tip that's kind of related to the last one is go outside. We live in one of the most beautiful parts of the entire country. So regardless of it being spring, fall, summer, or winter, just go outside and enjoy. Go for a peaceful walk in your neighborhood or go check out one of the hundreds of parks in Portland. Go for a hike in the Columbia River Gorge. Going out outside when you live in Portland is absolutely necessary. There's epic nature and wilderness in all directions of Portland if you want to go camping or backpacking or just get out of the city to go for a day hike somewhere. But even right in the middle of the city, there's so much natural beauty. Honestly, it's got to be one of the biggest selling points for living up here. Pro tip, go to the farmer's markets. There's some farmer's markets that run year round and some are seasonal. The PSU farmer's market in downtown Portland runs year round. It's one of the best I've ever been to. You can support your local farmers by shopping there as well as purchase some of the freshest and finest ingredients whether you're after locally raised meats or locally grown produce. One of the best feelings is cooking a meal using ingredients that were grown or raised within a short drive away from your home. Pro tip, subscribe to or check out local events lists so that you can stay active in the community and entertained. There's a number of great websites out there and Instagram accounts that post events of all types in Portland. Some ideas that'll help you keep up with the happenings here in Portland include subscribing to music venue mailing lists so that you can keep up when all your favorite bands are coming into town. Travelportland.com is a great site for all types of events year round. At Michelle Van Lee is a great account that's always sharing events on a weekly basis on Instagram. Everout.com is a great resource. And for all those parents out there of young children wondering what the heck to do with the kids, pdxparent.com is a great resource. They've got tons of daily events 
on there for kids of all ages, paid events and free events. I promise you, if you have little kids, you, you'll go on that website and be like, oh damn, this is great. Pro tip, save your big purchases for when you get into Oregon. There is no sales tax in Oregon, so if you've been saving up for that new laptop, or maybe you've had your eye on a new sick camera, or you just need a pair of good waterproof boots, I'd wait till you get into Portland to make that purchase, so you might be able to save some money. Pro tip, find your scene. There's so many different places to hang out and opportunities to immerse yourself in a new community in Portland. This will require you to put yourself out there a little bit and introduce yourself to new people, which may be uncomfortable for some people, but it'll be so worth it when you can find your tribe. Even if that just means becoming a regular at your local dive bar, or maybe you love to dance or shoot pool, or are passionate about making pottery, I urge you to really do some searching to find the place that is going to help you set your roots here in Portland. It's also important to do that when moving to a new city just so that you can make friends and connect with people. Pro tip, get to know the many neighborhoods of Portland. There's 94 different neighborhoods across the city of Portland. There's very chill and quiet neighborhoods where there's just houses where the kids can just play in the street and shoot hoops. There's urban neighborhoods with a higher than average density. And there are neighborhoods with a healthy combination of both. That is really what makes Portland such a great place to live that there's so many different little niches around the city to find. They all have their own character and I can guarantee there is a neighborhood for everyone here. So if you would like to check out more of the urban neighborhoods on the west side of the river, I'd recommend checking out this video next. Or if you wanna check out a more laid back neighborhood on the east side of town, I would check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you over there.